by eight o'clock, he said, right, filming goes off. Now you're here to enjoy the party. And then, so it all stopped at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's, that's awesome. Um, well, to get, to get back to the beer, did, is there any specific, what was your kind of, your favourite types of beer kind of going into the show? Oh, was there any that, you know, coming up that you were dreading or ones that were coming up that you really fancied brewing because they were, they were your favourite, having a go of? Well, so the thing is, because of the the, st- the style of the programme, they were all beers that we don't tend to, to, to brew. So, I mean, mm. obviously, lagers are quite quite a specialist, you know, quite, quite a tricky one to, to get right, and especially yeah. the... The challenge to brew two back to back identical. Ah, uh, yeah, the pilsners, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, the two pilsners. That I mean, that was that 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 was that was really quite tricky. And obviously the high ABV ones as well. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, starting to build sort of you know, Belgian quads or barley wines. I mean, we've done up to sort of seven eight percent, but not up to. I mean, the last one, one of them was between nine and twelve. Mm. Yeah, those those were quite 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 challenges. Um, so yeah, they were all a little bit. I was a little bit nervous about them. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I was also at the, the I was I was quite pleased, especially with the um hard side hug that we did, the, the Belgian quad at ten I think it came out at ten point one in the end. Yeah. Uh, really, really pleased with that one. Um I've brewed that again since, so uh yeah, it's, it's one of one of my favourites. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna keep going that one. Want yeah. to bring out the barbecues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wilkes is a good in that one. <laughs> that was the one obviously that was your strong dark ale um i was so pleased for you because that one had like a troublesome brewing process mm. as i saw on the show and yeah. it eventually led you to getting uh, like the silver award yeah. for that episode so i was like so chuffed to actually see like there's a mishap what could go wrong and then everyone was like Ken, what? Knew, this is I knew delicious. exactly what had gone wrong I just wasn't going to say so on the tv program <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that's the one right at the end I said well, when the camera's finished we'll discuss whose fault this is yes <laughs> that's all, right. all, all that happened is the the filter at the bottom of, of the grain powder as Rich was stirring it he just knocked it off so it was just gonna everything was, it was there was no filter in there so we Luckily, I had a spare grain powder knocking around, so we just transferred from one to the other and and carried on. But it's a it's a break in the process, and it's you know you don't want to be. But it made for good jeopardy and good television. So uh, ah, exactly, a drama, yeah, definitely. You definitely felt like the underdogs at that point. Like we were really, really rooting for you. I wanted you to to succeed, you know. So yeah. it was good that it all turned out so good in the end. It was brilliant. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and no, I was I was very very pleased with that one. I mean, there was a there was obviously a real risk putting cinnamon and things in it because I mean I, I mean I didn't realise it was only talking to um, uh, I think it was Mika from uh, Hertog Jan that traditionally uh, cinnamon and cloves are used to cover up off flavours in in beer. So basically, mm. bad, bad brewers used to use them to to, to <laughs> cover <laughs> to cover mistakes. <laughs> you know, used in moderation, they can they can make some fantastic beers. But yeah, to a yeah. traditionalist. You know, yeah. You know, when he said when he heard that he was, uh, I was putting cinnamon in it, he was panicking. Um, <laughs> but he was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, I, I obviously I've never met him before the show, but it, from the, it, his his brewing ethos is, is just is just phenomenal. Mm. Yeah, he's just he is just such a big man in presence when you speak to him and that. Uh, and he was very kind. He's um, Offered if we're ever over to actually, you know, pop in and uh, and, and to brew with him one day. So uh, yeah. that's something to definitely uh, mm-hmm. take on. Awesome. 